I'm Steve. I'm Sam. And we back. <laughs> we took a few weeks off. We did. We did. Uh, but we back. And we lit. And we happy. What are we going to talk about? Today, we are talking about our lives. In China. In China. With all of the virus. With all the virus talk going on. The coronavirus, 2020. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about our personal experience and mm. possibly the information that you can get on the internet as soon as you click out this video. Yeah. And just go search and you can find any information about the virus that you want. But from our personal perspective mm -hmm. here in China, this is our lives. <laughs> Okay, so we heard, so most of you know that it's Spring Festival, so it's their Chinese New Year, it's a really big deal. We were supposed to be off of work for 10 days. We got off work the next day. We did hear about the virus. We are about 15-ish hours from Wuhan, um, which is where it started. So we didn't think much about it. We wore a mask, but we went out to lunch, had coffee, hung out with friends. Um, all of the normal things. We lived our normal lives. <laughs> lived our normal lives. But then the next day we wake up and we are a part of group chats um, on WeChat with a lot of foreigners around our city and in our Providence. And we're getting link after link after link talking about the coronavirus, um, the coronavirus, I'm sorry. And how many people are infected and where it started from and how many people are getting sick and how it's transmitted and should expats leave China and um, just any information that you think we could have gotten about the virus to tell us how scared we should be and like would, how much yeah. precaution we should take and uh, what not to do and what to do and just the list goes on and on of all of the information, like of just just in, just the worst things possible that you can think of. And so, and then you have both of our parents messaging us. We have friends messaging us, which we're so thankful for. So we're getting a lot of information all at once. And then we start getting messages from our local government um, and from, we're getting text messages from the government um, our city is messaging us and telling us to limit all access outside. Again, this is spring festival. There's so many people traveling. And so everybody goes back to their village. So you're talking about trains, buses, subways, airplanes. airplanes. You're talking about all of this stuff that people are on. And that's why the virus spreads spread so, so quickly. Yeah. So you're getting, imagine you're getting messages that are saying, don't go outside, um, limit access to outside. If you go outside, wear a mask. If you know the infection can go through your eyes, through your ears, through your nose, through like, right? No facts. People <laughs> like, we got all of these links and they were just like, bro, the virus can enter through your eyes, your ears. I'm like. So then you're wearing like hats dang. like this, you're wearing earmuffs, you're wearing goggles, glasses, sunglasses, you're wearing the mask and then you're hearing the mask really doesn't do anything because it has this open flap on the side. You have to have a certain kind of mask that's going to really protect you. And people, you go outside and our city has about 2 million people, one to 2 million people. Um, you go outside and there's really nobody outside. The, places, the p places that are usually busy, they're not necessarily really busy anymore. And then we didn't prepare to be stuck in the house since what the 20 so we the virus yeah. and stuff came out on the 24th like was that and then we were in the house think about it like we've been we got the all of the messages and people are like don't go outside don't go outside you shouldn't go outside the virus is killing people all these people are infected so me and samantha are like oh okay so bad <laughs> we just about to be in the crib and so it's now February second. We now February second. We've been in the house. We've been in the house more. We ain't been in the house the whole time, but we've been in the house more. We've been in the house. We were in the house for a long time, just like sitting around and looking at information and hearing all the people's stories. It's and it was a rabbit hole. It was a horrible idea to just stay in the house 
and just sit there on our phones for yeah. more than 72 hours. And it was just like, it was bad. And like, you're really, all of the foreigners, we're, we're none of us are close to home. So we're all in this group chat. We're in three group chats. Everybody's sending stuff. Um, we're in Shanghai group chats. He's in a Shanghai group chat. There's so many group chats that we're a part of. Um, just people from Texas in China. Like, um, I mean, just really any group chat you could think of where it's available and we're a part of some of them. So then you have all of these people sending all of the links that are that are out. So we're getting stuff from the BBC. We're getting stuff from at home. We're getting stuff that China's putting out. Um, China, then it's like, it becomes a global issue and a global health concern. So we're getting that and people are sending, um, you know, our cuts, some of our countries that we're from are closing its borders. So you better leave now before you can't get out anymore. And it's expected to get worse. And so leave now. And then, and then you're concerned with, should we leave? Are we more safe here than traveling? And, um, I mean, I worried myself sick really like we hear about the virus and then i'm like i think i have a fever i'm i'm certain i'm gonna get sick so then steven's being told he has to stay inside by the government but then i'm like i'm sick and i'm gonna i'm not gonna make it so then he's having to go out and give me medicine from the pharmacy all the masks are being bought up there's no more mask um so it's just it really was it was a lot, it was a lot. And this is all happening. Oh, you know, very so, short. So quickly. Very short time frame. So from when we got the information to when we got more information about the severity of the virus and to where, like, we were like, wait, so what do we do? Do we stay here? Do we leave? Do we go on vacation? Do we, like, travel? Do we go back to the States? Like, what, what are we supposed to do? So the next question would be, like, like how did we handle everything that just came I to us? I handled it poorly. I was scared. <laughs> I was terrified. I mean, we just moved here. We're just getting settled. We're just it's just starting to feel like home and then this virus outbreak. And I mean, it really is and then especially we have to go outside to go get groceries. We have to you just for thing go to the pharmacy there's things that we have to do and right. having to wear gloves having to wear your mask having to do all this stuff worrying about going in public places um hearing someone cough while you're at starbucks like it's all really scary no and it's, facts i mean and then we were messaging our boss and we have a work group chat and we're like do we need to go home what do we do we don't know what to do we we just got here but do we need to go back right now? And um, it was, it was really terrifying. Steven was very level-headed. <laughs> I was not. <laughs> so, you know. I, <clears throat> mainly, like, we get the information. Everyone's telling us the severity of it. And I'm just kind of sitting there and I'm like, bro, like, first and foremost, Wuhan's 15 hours away. Yeah. That was a 15 hours away from us is what I was thinking. And there are other places that are getting the virus. And I'm like trying to like think, do I need to pull us out of this situation and get us back to the States? Yeah. Then I thought about it. How is this virus getting moved from Wuhan? It started in Wuhan, which is like in the center of China. Yeah. A uh, very it's, small. It was well, not, not small. small. It's 11 huge. million people that are from Wuhan. Yeah. Um, so how is this virus moving from this place to that place to that place? Mm -hmm. And all like now it's like a global issue. And so go ahead. Mm -hmm. Now we're now we're trying. I'm trying to figure out, do I need to get us back to the States or like, do we need to go to the States or is traveling probably not the smartest thing to do right now because everyone's traveling, everyone's moving, everyone's leaving, and the virus is amongst people that are moving. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, ah, uh, uh, we probably should just kick it here and just do what we need to do as far as like being wise here. Uh, buying water so i'm going out getting water <laughs> i'm going out getting like non-perishable foods <laughs> like 
you we don't know what it's going to look like and the, we have no idea and our imagination is our worst enemy at this point because like you hear people like you hear about the the death toll which like it's it's horrible to hear all that and like uh how many are affected where they're affected at and you just like oh my gosh like what do we need to do so I'm going out getting water. I'm going out getting medicine. I'm going out getting vitamin, <laughs> vitamin C. C to I'm going it. out getting onions and garlic. Onions, which garlic, are to, like, boost your everything, system. like anything that you can think of or type in on Google. <laughs> like, what can I do to get my immune system up? Like, <laughs> I'm typing it in and I'm going out. And I'm trying to figure it out. So, uh, how we handle it, it was, you know, it was up and down. You know it what was, I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. One thing also though is that right now we are in what's your Providence name? Jingsu. Jingsu. Our city is um Zhang Zhigang. Our our, <laughs> prov you know? our Providence has does have people infected, correct? Our, our province. Providence does. Our city does, does not. not, as of right now. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't know. There's like a two week incubation period. But nobody has it here in our city. It hasn't been reported. So our city is taking a lot of precautions to keep us safe, which is really nice. We have, so we we work, we went to the building where we work at and there's a Starbucks and you know, where we work. And so we, it was open. We've been locked in the house for over a week and we're like, we gotta get out. And so we went to Starbucks and there's two entrances to Starbucks. They closed off one. Everybody had to go through one entrance. There was someone at the, um, at the door taking our temperature and then giving us hand sanitizer. We've also heard of Starbucks um, giving masks to people who didn't have masks. Um, in the building where we work at, they're taking temperature and recording it when you come in. Uh, at the grocery stores where we grocery shop, they're taking temperature and recording it. So I, if you don't, if you don't, or if you have a, a fever, if you're in, you think you could have the virus, you have to go to the hospital because there are centers where, they're, where people are being isolated. Um, for the safety of everyone else and then every city has gates around the perimeter of the city and at the remember people are coming back home they're just coming back home because work hasn't really started for anybody yet because they're trying to hold off work so the virus can be as contained as it can mm. and uh, there's police at the at the gates of the city taking temperature if one person in the car has a fever then the whole family has to go into, what's it called? Quarantine. Quarantine. And um, they can be taken to the hospital or wherever it's at. So <clears throat> there are different measures being taken right now. We don't know when we're starting work. There is a lot of precaution. <clears throat> yeah. So, yeah, the next question would be, um, so how we handled it? It's kind of up and down. We both handle we both handle <laughs> stressful situations differently. So, like based off our uh, my personalities, that's how we handled them. Logical, very logical. <laughs> and um, the next question would be, what does life look like now that like in the heat of everything? Because we are we are very we're very much so in like the heat of this virus. Uh, believe it or not, because. Uh, just a lot of the links and the articles are saying that the only way that the virus can uh, diminish and go away is from heat. And uh, we're in the middle change. of, fe we're, we're at the beginning of February <laughs> and seasons seasons have to change in order for more heat to come. So um, that's and the people only- people are just getting back. And a lot of people are just getting back, which means that uh, you don't, they say that you don't know if you have the virus, if you're uh, for, two weeks. for two weeks Once. or, uh, uh seven days or whatever so like life today looks um grocery stores <laughs> they're not as packed nothing is really nothing and people are staying home people are in the house yeah people are like not coming out as much Everyone's like there's people out masks. but there's like from like there was a grocery store video that we made and it felt like black friday but now it's just a normal day like no yeah, it's, it's like almost no one's out and when you like if you look in people's grocery carts at the grocery store they're just, like they're packed they're so packed they're, full yeah. like they're planning on not coming back out so with us seeing that we like well we need to pack our grocery carts yeah. full too 
And so we grab water, we grab vegetables and like anything that we need. And so we just like prepare for anything really. And also like, again, our city's taking precaution. Schools have been pushed back to start the 10th, I think, or no, the 12th. What, public schools? Yeah. Do you know? No, February 15th 15th. or 16th. Yes, you're right. So schools, public schools have been pushed back till February 15th. We're a training school, so we don't really know. As of right now, we don't know when we will start work. Uh, we have no idea. We have a meeting on the 10th to discuss different things that we could do to help keep the kids safe because it's affecting younger and older. Younger and, older. and um, so it is, it's really strange um we are still happy we're here no for sure <laughs> and yeah and we we do want to clear that up like we're we cool like we are we are good we are we're thankful we good like yes. we're chilling we're good we got food we got water shelter clothes and we're healthy we're healthy like yeah. Although we can't go to the gym right now because the gym's like closed. Yeah, we went one time and I think I still wore my mask because you don't know when you no, start yeah, to. Sure. You stop. And so like I worked out and I had some leather gloves. I had my leather gloves on and I was working out in them. So, but the gym's closed. So like we bought a yoga mat and we <laughs> do like little home workouts and stuff like that just to you know stay ahead of the curve. But. We're good. And I was thinking about this analogy the other day of like, how can I describe our whole transition from getting here to like, now we're here. And it, for instance, like, for example, it'll be like, you going to like a party and you like, you listening to all your friends and all your friends was like, Hey, this party going to be lit, bro. This party going to be dope. And you like, bet, like, let me, you know, I got to do some chores. I got to do some stuff, clean up the house a little bit before I get there. And then I'm going to pull up to the party. And so you're hearing about all this stuff at the party. It's fun. you like, oh, bet. So you do your chores. You get all your stuff done. And you finally get to the party. And then you're there. And you like, bet, okay. The music, the music bouncing. And you, everybody dancing and grooving. And then you hear somebody talking about, like, Hey, bro, like, oh, dude just had some of the fruit punch and passed out. And you like, oh, shoot, I'm not going over back to that fruit punch. And you like, you still dancing, grooving. You said, bro, like five people passed out from the fruit punch. And so you like, hey, what's wrong with the fruit punch? You start asking questions. You start questioning everything. You don't know what's going to happen. So you just like, as long as I stay away from the fruit punch, you know, I stay away from, you know, all that section. We good. So this is an example of us working extremely hard to get here. Right? We did work really hard to get here. And then we get here and we here, we having a good time. We bumping, we grooving, gyrating, everything. And then stuff starts happening and you're still trying to figure out what's happening. You know what I mean? And it's just so a lot to grasp all at once and so us we're good like like we got each other we've been having a lot of fun together by if playing board games watching movies yeah. like whatever like we've been chilling but we we don't really like we're having a good time we're taking our precautions we're staying clean uh limiting washing our outside. hands limiting outside um making sure that you know we just took doing everything with uh, wisdom and discernment. Yes, but before, I mean, we end the video, the virus is still going on. There's a lot of people still affected, families infected. Um, the doctors in Wuhan, nurses, health people getting infected from this virus. And so if you believe in prayer, pray. Pray that the people get healed. Pray that they find a cure. I mean, anything anything we believe in the power of prayer and we need it they need it and so just the government is doing our government is doing what they can in our city and we're thankful and so just yeah we just wanted to get better yeah and like we couldn't imagine what like is going on through like government officials but 
what we can do uh, from our position and even from like your position is doing the small things of like prayer or like not posting false information about it. That could be a big one. Or insensitive to... Or insensitive to the people that are actually, you know what I'm saying, going through the difficult time. Because, believe it or not, because, like, wherever you're watching the video at, maybe you're not directly affected yeah. by the a virus. There are so many families, so many doctors' families that are affected by this virus, even if they're not sick they're absent from their families they're absent from being with their kids from their spouses whatever the case may be uh doctors are volunteering in wuhan they're volunteering they're not even getting paid they're volunteering in wuhan to help prevent further spread of the virus so this is a huge deal and a lot of people are affected by it so what we're saying is that be sensitive you know what i'm saying be mindful of yeah. like the comments the posts whatever you're saying the memes, the memes the like memes although memes are funny. hilarious bro have their plays and i'm not the one to say stop with the memes i ain't playing no like just be mindful bro like because people are really affected people are people are really dying people are really dying and families are really losing loved ones like like no doubt at all so and who's affected are the kids and the, the older, older people, people for and sure so this is something to be taken seriously. And so yeah. if you're gonna share something, please make sure that what you're spreading is true. Please make sure that you're coming, it's coming from a, a reliable source, love. I mean, yeah. there's foreigners that are going back home from Wuhan and then are being quarantined and people are like, oh, they brought them back. They shouldn't have brought them back. They're yeah. bringing the virus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's measures being taken For sure. and these people, they need to be home and how, grateful that they're allowed to go home so because i know if i'm coming home <laughs> yeah. it better be a group of people and a banner i know that shoot so got just, me messed up so just be mindful we're okay we're good guys good guys great we have food water we're healthy we're taking vitamins washing our hands we're washing our hands we are okay we got the music jumping over here we got, we got movies we got movies Y'all can come through. No, 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 no. Y'all can't come through. Forget that. It's good, though. We're good. But there's people that really affected. And be mindful. Um, and we hope this virus gets taken care of very quickly. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Regardless if you agree with the government or not. Facts. There's people affected. And so. Yeah. Be mindful. Be mindful. We love y'all. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Steve. I'm Sam. And we live different. <laughs> Peace.